uh, about 121,000 people are still without power after storms hit the area last night and this morning. And those storms also caused some pretty bad damage across the area. Down power lines were reported, toppled trees as well. And one of the hardest hit areas is West Bloomfield. That's where we find our Rod Maloney. He joins us now live this afternoon with a look at the damage, Rod. Yeah, hey, every day, the, the, sing, the singing of the chainsaw will be constant throughout the day here and into the night as they try and take down. Now, what you're seeing here is the top half of a pine tree. Take a look up the tree. It snapped off in the middle and came down. But that's not even the best picture to show you how bad the winds were out here yesterday. Take a look just down the side there, and you can see the entire root bowl of a giant tree leaning over that one uh, being worked on by the county here. And there's so much more damage out here. Um, we have all kinds of tree services out here, and uh, we'll show you this. But let's take a look at some of the video that we shot here just a few minutes ago. Uh, in this particular neighborhood, it's Horseshoe Drive in West Bloomfield, which backs up to the Knollwood Country Club. And what they have found here is uh, what looks like to be straight line winds that have knocked down massive trees. In fact, one of the residents told me it was a 100-year-old pine tree that went down and, uh, and knocked out his neighbor's boathouse. Uh, it was a locust tree that came through and knocked a hole in his roof. And so uh, they're feeling very fortunate out here because there was nobody hurt in any of this damage. When the wind came up, it turned green and I decided to retreat to a safer spot at the house. I heard a loud sound, a crack, a boom, and then it seemed to me that something was different. And so I went out and looked outside and there was trees were down in the back and the front. We were not here, but as soon as we came in, we couldn't pull in this side of the sub, tree was down. So we pulled over here and we couldn't pull in this side of the sub because the tree was down, but we went over the lawn a little bit and came in through here and it was just like, whoa, everything was uprooted. It was just amazing. We looked at our house and said, oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> no damage. Well, Well, we did have uh, some more sound there, but the point is, is that th around here, you can find trees down like this all over, and also the trees with the root bowls uh, knocked over as well. Uh, we talked to the National Weather Service today, and they told me that they're not going to be coming out looking to see if this was a tornado. They told me that they feel that everything that we're looking at here was straight line winds. Doesn't much matter to the folks who live here. They have to get the roofing company out, and the tree services out to get these trees taken care of. But we're going to be taking Taking a look at this, and uh, the National Weather Service also also told us to be looking out where all the power is out. So it's mostly here and in Farmington Hills. One last note here: out on Orchard Lake Road at uh, Long Lake Road, uh, they have the, have Orchard Lake closed down as a result of trees and wires in the neighborhood. So we're going to slide up there, take a look at that before we head down to Farmington Hills, and we'll have full coverage coming up on Local Four News at five and six. Reporting live in West Bloomfield, Rod Maloney, Local Four. The damage is pretty extensive over there, Rod. Thank you for the update.